What's up everybody? I am Key Loves God. Welcome back to my channel where I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be made in His image and on how to be the best versions of yourselves. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So happy to have you guys. And for those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back my sunflowers. I'm going to be reacting to Chestnut Checkers TV's video, Real Fallen Angel Found in Russian Pit. So we're going to check it out because I'm like, what? What's going on? We don't need this is Ow. not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Woo! That is such a scary noise, like, so scary. Let me, let me go ahead and make sure our quality is good. And I keep seeing references to this movie. I have not seen the entire thing, but so many people reference this movie about how it's, like, true. I've got one that can see. There is a growing debate about a TikToker who shared a video of a statue on January Ooh, that's so creepy. The TikToker claimed that he found a fallen angel. The video has since gone viral and people have different speculations about it. The sculpture was allegedly excavated by miners in a gravel pit at a location 340 kilometers away from the Russian town of Zia in a mere blast. The resident shared the video clip on TikTok and a friend of the user reportedly sent him the footage where an old sculpture can be seen. However, it was unclear from the video whether or not the figure was in a standing or knelt down position. Now, the statue had a sword and a shield in front of it. A large cloak was covering its head and half of its eyes as well. Although the statue looked eerie, the massive wings on its back made the miners claim it was a fallen angel. However, the press secretary at the Elba Coal Complex confirmed that the sculpture is not of a Russian fallen angel. In the video, the two mine workers stumbled upon this bizarre statue. They spoke about digging it up from the ground using an excavator. The workers took turns taking a photo with the object and were heard talking about repenting something. They also claimed that they felt the statue was emitting some kind of energy. The two workers further said that they wasted no time informing the authorities who were apparently sent choppers to get the statue. Oh my gosh, look at this, y'all. Это просто не рассказать, почему так, что это такое. Ну там сейчас на вертолете прилетят все эти дела. И вот пока не приехали все эти товарищи, мы вот тут с ребятами. О, oh my gosh. Look at this thing. The wings are huge. And it looks so creepy. Why does it look like its eyes are open? And I've seen this before. I've seen footage of this fallen angel before. But like y'all, this is this is like вырвались. Ребята, это Are they taking вообще трендец? Как какие эмоции? Y'all, are they taking pictures by this thing? Would you be taking pictures by this? Comment down below. Андрей, Денис, сними меня. They're taking pictures by it? Ain't no way I would be standing by that thing taking pictures. I would be out of there. And look how tall it is compared to them. I'm not for sure how tall they are, but look at look at this. Was it like maybe six, six foot four? Maybe? I don't know. You guys comment how tall you think this thing looks with adding the wings. Like, look how huge these wings are. And it's holding a sword and a shield. This figure has a lot of people torn on what to believe. You know, whether it's true, whether this is just a step. Wait, 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 we gotta read that, girl. Hold on. Fallen angels are angels who were expelled from heaven. The literal term fallen angel doesn't appear in any Abrahamic religious text, but is used to describe angels cast out of heaven or angels who sin, such as angels often tempt humans to sin torn on what to believe you know whether it's true whether this is just a statue it's a hoax i can't help but to look at this figure and notice the intricate detailing i was gonna say this don't look like a hoax to me because 
excuse me, let me use proper English. This doesn't look like a hoax to me. Look at all of this, like a sword and a shield, and it looks rather old. And I'm not saying people can't just carve this together and make this, but this looks like it predates today's, like, 2023. Look at the cloak, aka hoodie. Look at the intricate detail of the hands, the sword. You know, you can even see fibers blowing in the wind. Look at the wings. The wings look absolutely real. And I can't tell if like the bottom part, look how creepy this looks. Ugh. I can't tell if the if the bottom foot part, like are the feet inside of the ground, because they said that they excavated this up. And I would imagine they would be like you know, kind of hesitant to pull the whole thing out. I would just leave it there. Don't even move it. Because they said they felt weird energy exuding from it. So even if somebody did carve it, why would they feel weird energy from it, exuding from it, if it were just a carved image or if it were just a hoax? And you can tell that this figure is kneeling down. You know, this figure looks to be she said it's kneeling so how tall is it really if it's kneeling he, if it's kneeling and those men were standing right by it and it was it's still really taller than them uh, uh. be at least 10 to 12 feet look how the wings connect to the back Ooh. you know um just imagine if this figure stood up look at this this even looks like there's like a face in this right here. Do y'all see that? Oh my gosh. This figure would be at least 15, 16, 17 feet tall, you know? Um, not only that, look at the hands. Look at the look shoulders. At look how big the shoulders are. Holy the moly. The sword and the shield. Some people are saying that this is the Nephilim. This is what I was thinking, but I didn't want to say that. Ah, the Nephilim are mysterious beings or people in the Hebrew Bible who are large and strong. The word Nephilim is loosely translated as giants in some translations of the Hebrew Bible, but left untranslated in others. Jewish explanations interpret them as hybrid sons of fallen angels. The main reference to them is in Genesis chapter 6 verses 1 through 4, but the passage is ambiguous and the identity of the Nephilim is disputed. According to the book of Numbers 13:33, they later inhabited Canaan at the time of the Israelite conquest of Canaan. A similar or identical biblical Hebrew term read as Nephilim by some scholars or as the word fallen by others appears in the book of Ezekiel 32:27, and is also mentioned in the Deuteronomicals, Judith 16:6, Sirach 16:7, Barak chapter 3:26 through 28, and Wisdom 14:6. I'm not even for sure if I said those right, y'all. So forgive me, but these words are really trying me right now. Um, yeah, I was literally thinking about these Nephilim. They talk a lot about these as well. Like I said all throughout the Bible and it's something that a lot of people don't talk about. Um, I don't know if you guys read the book of Enoch either, but you know, that's been removed from the Bible as well. And they do talk about these different types of things in further detail, but I truly believe that that is a Nephilim for real. You guys can let me know your thoughts and opinions on that down below. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Nephilim were the offspring of the sons of God and the daughters of men. Many believe them to be fallen angels. Now, the Nephilim are spoken about in great detail in the book of Enoch. I just, you know, the Most High God said that. I just said that, guys. Did I not just say that? In the book of it said, yes, the angels, the watchers, and the Nephilim, with extensive commentary on the three books of Enoch, the fallen angel, the fallen angels, the calendar of Enoch, and Daniel's prophecy. So, you guys, if that's something you want to know more about, you guys can definitely read further into it in the book of Enoch. Um, it says the book of fallen angels, the watchers, and the origins of evil, with the expanded commentary. Yeah, I just read that. Okay. 
book of Enoch. You know, the Most High God said that there would be signs and wonders on this place that we call Earth. Yeah. There is a lot to unpack here. Please drop down in the comments. I definitely want to know your thoughts about this. Do you think this is a hoax? Or is this the real thing? Um, I definitely don't think it's a hoax, you guys. You guys can comment down below what you guys think about that because I... I definitely feel my way about it. You guys, make sure that you give her a like. I want to look up something really, really quick with you guys, if you don't mind. Um, I'm going to search something on what does the book of Enoch say about fallen angels? Or no. Yeah, well, okay. We're going to look this up really quick. They became servants of Satan and led astray those who dwell upon the dry ground. These are the watchers who turned aside from the Lord 200 myriads together with their inner Satanel. Okay, so let me go to this really quick. First Enoch chapter 6 and 8. So this, see, you guys can easily like search this stuff and read it for yourselves. Um, I'm trying to find something. Yeah, so it says they teach humans magical medicines, incarnations, the cutting of roots, and about planets. The origin of folk medicine is therefore ascribed to these angelic beings. The children of the angels are giants. So basically, the children of the angels are giants, which are the Nephilim. So what we just saw is technically a child of one of these fallen angels or what this said is is an, an angel or fallen angel but the giants are said to be the children of humans coming into contact with these fallen angels and creating these nephilim creatures if that makes sense to you guys standing 300 cubits and improbable 450 feet tall these giants eat so much food the humans cannot feed them anymore the giants proceed to eat humans as well as all kinds of animals um enoch chapter 7 8 is a reflection upon the command which was probably given because the antediluvian world did in fact consume blood the detailed expansion of the biblical stories blames wicked angelic beings for reveling or for revealing mysteries to humans which will result in sin so the stories are about these angels coming down to earth they were obviously cast out of heaven and they were teaching human beings or revealing mysteries that they weren't supposed to reveal to humans and that's what led humans further into sin you know it is not Adam's rebellion in the garden that is responsible for human evil, but wicked angelic beings, angelic beings who did not remain in their appointed place. What is more, the great flood is not the result of human sin, but the rebellion of these angelic beings. So, you know, I don't know how you guys feel about that or what you think about that, but that is further into the book of Enoch as... You know, those of you who want to read about that kind of stuff, you can do that. But I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And you guys can let me know what your thoughts and opinions are respectfully in the comment section. Make sure you guys check out my merch or my faith-based apparel, which is www.keylovescott.com. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel so you can be notified uh, when I do post another video. And make sure that you guys like as well. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in another video. Mwah.